Hi, my name is Rex Beanland and welcome to this week's painting demonstration. We're going to do a little painting I call uh, Memories of Oregon. This is the famous Haystack Rock. Um, a lot of colors today just to give myself some options. I have Cad Yellow Medium, Cad Orange, Cad Red Light, Quinacridone Magenta, a little Quinacridone Red, uh, Cerulean Blue, Ultramarine Blue, and just possibly I might use a little Cobalt Teal. The format of this paper is also it's 15 by 7 inches because I feel this scene needs a long lean format. I also am going to be probably f moving, tilting the board frequently so I'll announce that now and if you see it uh, you'll know what's going on. In fact I'm going to because of this line, the distant horizon, I need that line to be really crisp. I am going to turn it upside down. And I'm going to use just slightly tinted water so I can just see where I put it. And I need this sky area to be soaking wet. And so, and all of these rocks are going to be darker values. So for now, I can just go right over them. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, that's just my tinted water. The first wash I'm going to put on is more stronger value of the cab yellow medium. And then I'm right away going to surround that with more of the orange. And then I'm going to switch to Cad Red Light. And as I get more towards the top, I switch to Quinacridone Magenta. And I just want to add now a little bit of blue to the sky. So much warm, so many warm colors in there that a little cool will be a nice contrast. I don't want that. Now this is going to be too strong there. And so rather than try and lift it out or brush it out, I'm going to turn it upside down and I'm going to use my mister because that means I'll have no brush strokes visible. And that'll tone that thing right down. Now this section is still very wet. This is drying a little bit and I want to have, there's a, a point of land here but it gets lost in the mist. So I want to do this while it's still damp because I don't want it to set up with hard edges. So you can see the effect that I'm, I'm going for here. It's darker at the bottom and then it sort of gets lost at the top. And I'll even encourage that a bit more by darkening the bottom. 
Okay, now this is a real timing thing. I need that to be damp, but not soaking wet. And I want to have a, a far distant shoreline there. I'll go with my cerulean. And I need this brush to be really quite dry because there's so much water on there. This is sort of the the damp beach which reflects this sky. So I might as well get this in now. I'm going to ignore that stump that's there and just pre-wet this section. And once again, when I've gone over it once, I do it again. So this is yellower near the horizon, so it'll be yellower here at the top. So I start with my first wash, which is that yellow. And the, the reflections are never quite the same as the object reflected, so... And then to some red. It's very strong. Same time, add some more yellow and more orange. Okay, now up here, I want it to be a more neutralized version of this. So I add a little cerulean. Maybe a little bit down there. Okay, this is all dried off now and I'm going to move into the rocks here. And what I'm going to do is start with again a little bit of tinted water. It's a little bit stronger but there's going to be a lot of value in these rocks. So I'll just start it here. Okay, so that's just my really just pre-wetting that rock. And now I'm going to come in and add some value to it. And I'll start with the same color, but just a darker value. And then I'm going to come in and again trying to get strong values and dark values <clears throat> that's fairly dry so I can kind of get some sense of shapes. A little bit lighter at the top. Get some in there. Now one thing I want to do is <clears throat> I want the top of this rock and maybe another place to kind of bleed off into the background. And while I'm letting that dry, I'll move on to the next one here. And the only thing is this next one should not compete with this one. This is the main rock. So I'm going to make this a little bit less in value. These rocks have a lot of sharp points on them. I'll put some more over there. And I'll move over to the next rock, which again is going to be even a little less significant. I start with tinted wash. Okay, I'm going to squeeze my brush dry and then start mixing so I know I'll have a nice dry mixture and try a few of these little detail lines.
Okay, I've just dried that off. And I want to do one other thing. I'm going to mask this rock out. And then I'm going to get a rich mixture and flick. And now I need to do the reflections of these rocks in this wet sand. So what I'm going to do is take just pure water here and wet this whole sandy section. And then I'm going to come in with the same colors I have in the rock. To get a few darker strokes in there. And I want to get a little bit of red happening. And then I want to neutralize this a bit and have some reflection coming down there. And this one here, same thing, just remembering it's a little less defined. And while this is wet, I'll come down to the end here. Okay, and also what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my one inch flat because that's really wet, I'm going to squeeze this dry, get a nice sharp point on it and see if I can lift out a few little, just think I need a little bit more on this one. So I'll take some orange, a little bit of blue, yeah, something like that. I'm going to start off just wetting it. But I want to leave that little line of white paper which is going to read as the foam. My big round. And then I want to get a little some detail in there. It's a little bright. So again, since this is wet, I want this to be drier, and I want some uh, some lines like that. This lighter sand is going to go into a darker sand, so I need this to be a little bit darker, and a little bit of a stronger value. A little too red, yeah, something like that. I want this to be the sand near the shore. For this grass down here, what I'm going to do is take my rigger with water on it. It's quite wet with water, and it should push paint away and create a grass-like thing. The shine is just leaving it. Again, my rigger brush just loaded with water. And I think what I'll do also is put in a little, little green here. There's this log here, which is really just an eye stopper, so you don't follow that path right out of the picture. With a wash of tinted water. And then I'll go into it and add some darker values. I think what I'll do... So I'll take my rigger brush and get a darker value. Now to switch, same thing. Okay, so I'm going to do these, and I, this is the time I'm going to use a little bit of this cobalt teal. I want to be careful because I haven't used it anywhere else. So I'm going to mix it a little bit there to get kind of a turquoisey green. And the first thing near the distant shore or the horizon, it's a solid color. And as I come forward, I'll add more of the cerulean to this. Okay, then around these rocks. See, so this white, I'm going to leave it, that's going to be 
these rollers or whatever these waves are called when they break over. We get more ultramarine down here. Keep it a fairly light value. And I think I want a little bit to indicate a bit of these uh, rocks reflected. Probably not that much over there. So I'm just going to come in and darken the bottom of this uh, log a little bit. Okay, the first thing I want a, re a reflection of this log here. So I'll pre-wet this and just drop in some of the same colors that I've used. And the other thing I want is I want two people here. And I think I'll start off with pure cad red. Really thick. I have a guy standing here and beside him and then into that I want to get some dark values so it takes some ultramarine blue what I'll do instead is I'll put their reflection that's a little too wet and the last thing I'm going to put some seagulls in here. I'm taking some uh, white gouache. I want this to be fairly thick, definitely thick. And I want to have a couple of seagulls coming down there. I've just dried it off. I'm very happy with it. Just a little bit. One thing I just wanted to do here is to kind of get a dark brown. Just want to accent a few of these. That's enough, so uh, I hope you have enjoyed it, and we will see you next time. Hey.